Welcome everyone to Pop Friction Super. I'm trying to get back on a regular schedule. So here's a, here's a, here's a review. Uh, Top Cow Comics, Bonehead, uh, book one. I really hope there's a book two, book three, book four, whatever. Um, Bonehead, written by Brian Edward Hill, who's a really good writer. Uh, this was created by Machine 56. Now that, if I, if my research is correct, Machine 56 is a clothing line in Japan. This kind of shit. They even make these helmets that you can wear. I'm sure they're not internet capable and all that shit. Possibly are. They are Japanese. Very advanced. Um, clothing line. The designs are fantastic. I would wear this shit if I could afford it. If I could have it imported. It's outrageously expensive. But I believe... The comic was made because they have an action figure line. I've seen the figures. They're fucking gorgeous. Some of the best action figures I have ever seen. Outrageously expensive as well. But beautiful stuff. And uh, this comic book here is fan-fucking-tastic. That's why I hope there's more to come. I really do. Uh, this is a very... Like, Top Cow seems to have several titles that are very forward-thinking as far as comic books. Like, the, it seems to me like they are creating... Why is this comic wet? I did wash my hands before the video. Maybe that's what it's from. thought I dried them, though. But they seem to have a several comics that are very forward-thinking in, in, in the comic book realm. Like, they're thinking, like, what's next? What can we do... What can we put out there that hasn't been done before? Even though this, some of this stuff you've seen before, but the execution is much... It's advanced, I would say. Like, listen, what kind of concepts can we come up with? Who can we work with to get something unique out there in the market? Unfortunately, no one reads Top Cow. Like, I don't know anybody else that reads Top Cow stuff. And that's a fucking shame, because they have several books... I'm going to review one after this one. Uh, this came out like last year, I believe. And so did the other one I'm going to review. But there are several of them. Like They're just like, let's create the next thing. You know, we've got Spider-Man. We've got Superman. We've got Spawn. Been around forever. What what can we do? Even Witchblade in the Darkness has been around for 20-something years. And unfortunately, nobody reads those anymore either. Like, what's next? This should be next. People should read this. And if I wish they had read it, because I don't believe there's a volume two coming, and that's a fucking shame, man. The writing is fantastic. The artwork is solid. Perfect for this story. I don't know how to pronounce that dude's first name. Roald Marcellus. Brian Edward Hill read some of his stuff. He's really good. He's going to be writing one of the new uh, X titles. I believe it was. I believe after the Jonathan Hickman launch, he'll be taking over one of the X books under Jonathan Hickman's guidance. This is set in the future of somewhere. Doesn't really tell you. Uh, drones everywhere. Sci-fi. Like top-notch sci-fi. Like good stuff. People wear these helmets. The helmets are called boneheads. There's all these apps and systems and things in it. There's one of the police officers. I like this little, these little things. These little, uh, what do you call these? I don't know, but they tell you what, what the suits are capable of. So you know. And good world building. Good mythology building in this. I mean, look at these guys. Fantastic designs, and like I said, these are started as a clothing line. So I'm betting some of these outfits are something. Although I would never wear that outfit; that just looks ridiculous. Look like a like a Halloween honeybee. Very. Oh, his name is Pumpkinhead. So 
a pumpkin something. I believe. Uh, the storytelling from panel to panel was good. Better than most Marvel and DC artists right now. Except for the big names. Just did. Uh, <clears throat> I, I hope there's another volume. I really do. Look at that dude. He's a badass looking motherfucker. There's a street drug, a new street drug that's uh, it's a drug, but it's a drug for technology users, people who use you know these kind of things, these auditory and visual um, technology, VR kind of stuff. This girl's suffering from one of them, and they're trying to figure out where it's coming from. They don't do it in this volume. They, you know, they head down the path, starting to figure out what's going on, and but they find out who's doing it, who's making the drug. But then that's the end of the story. So I, oh man, I know there's not going to be any more of these because nobody reads Top Cow. Like this guy right here, Black Black Death. I would wear the outfit, even though I'm almost 40. I would look ridiculous wearing that. I would wear it because it looks cool as shit. Might even wear that fucking bonehead. Good stuff. Good good fights. It was compelling. It was interesting. Here's the cover gallery. Look at that. Just good artwork. I would pick something besides bats. Maybe they maybe they were going to introduce. Like maybe they're tech, techno bats or something. I really didn't pay attention if they were in this one. Good stuff. You got a little Cyber Force Volume 1 preview. Like I said, this is from last year. I think they're on issue 11 or 12 now. And even Cyber Force these days is forward thinking. Like they are really trying hard. Matt Hawkins is writing that with Mark Silvestri. Brian Hill's doing some stuff. So they, they, it's like they're taking a look at the world we're living in and like, well, what, what's next? What can we do? It's the way uh, Warren Ellis thinks. It's like, what's going on now and what's coming next based off what's happening now? It's one of the reasons I love Warren Ellis's work, especially when he does sci-fi stuff. Because he almost predicts the future. He's usually four or five years away from whatever is actually coming as far as this technology and stuff. And I have this, Dissonance. Looks interesting. Looks good. I'm going to read that. Uh, I have this Warframe. And when I bought it, I didn't know that it was a. Uh, it's based off a free-to-play cooperative shooter game. Had no idea. I just thought that looked cool as shit. The designs look good, so I'll be reading that. Uh, this is next. I've got that one sitting over on the couch right now. Like I said, this came out last year as well. Looks dope. Paul Jenkins is writing it. I like Paul Jenkins. Uh, he did most famously, I would say, he's known for Origin, Wolverine's Origin. Like I, said, I, I highly recommend this. I would check it out. Buy the trade. Spread the word. Let's get more of this. I really think anybody who likes sci-fi will enjoy this. Anyone who likes uh, kind of like sci-fi action manga is really going to like this because the artwork's very animated slightly manga-esque not too much to where it would be annoying to people who don't like manga very cartoony look at these designs though man that's top-notch shit but I recommend it so go check it out you can get it on Amazon you can get it at your local comic book store uh, I ordered this on Amazon but um, check out their uh, the Machine 56 uh, website. Just look at the, the clothes. Very futuristic, but yet modern. You could wear the shit. Check out the action figures, guys. Those action figures are phenomenal. I mean, they're truly some of the best action figures I've ever seen. And I've seen some fantastic action figures. I have some fantastic action figures. And those are probably the... Man, they might be the best I've seen in a long, long time. 
Check it out. From Top Cow Comics. Bonehead by Brian Hill. Brian Edward Hill. Peace.